Alrighty, my friends. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode. If you missed out on last episode, we are still in Port Ferry. Lil just ran the marathon probably three hours ago. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> but we're gonna pack up and head down the road across to the west. We're heading towards Adelaide in the next couple of weeks. Gonna stop at some sick camps. First of all, let's pack up from the Port Ferry Caravan Park where we've been staying for the last two days. Who drinks Coke? Nah, Lil got it as a special treat, but I'm drinking it. Oh God. Our battery is definitely on the way out. It's so on the way out that I have our jump starter just sitting on the front seat. This thing is worth its weight in gold. I reckon that in the last two weeks, I've jump started this thing probably five times. And this is still on 100%. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. <sighs> By far, the best, it's not the best thing iTech makes, but it's bloody up there, I can tell you that. Watch how easy this works. Turn it on. You push this button, clicks. Just like that, Gary's your grandfather. How good. Can I just show you how clean it is in here? Still got that orange, you never get that off. It's so hard, but it's great. I just use this um, Meguiar's it's not like an engine, it's not a specific engine bay cleaner, but it's like a underneath cleaner. I'll pop a picture up of it, just spray it on and then give it a bit of a scrub and then rinse it off. Comes out schmick. Feel like cars run better when they're clean. I'll tell you what, I am loving this new hitch. Will he get it first go? Oh, there's sun on my on my reverse camera. Is that far enough back, you reckon? Sort of looks like it. I'll check. That's a bloody Kevin Schmindy, I reckon. Ah, perfect. So, I put my jockey wheel and stuff back here. It's actually a pretty good spot for it. Wheel chocks. You know what, I was actually against wheel chocks before. I just used to use like rocks and sticks and stuff that I would find around. But to be honest, these are actually been pretty handy. Hello. Hello. Your legs are tired. My legs are tired. Do you want to just go in the caravan while I drive? No, we can't, because that's illegal. Oh, it's not illegal. Is it illegal? It's illegal. I reckon it's definitely illegal. I think it definitely is. I if think you, you haven't be got, I mean, if you haven't got one of these hair wraps, I know I look like a psycho. They are the best things ever. Even I could use one. <laughs> For your moustache. Yeah, maybe. I know. Say goodbye to the clean car and caravan. About to get off the blacktop and hit some dirt roads. First, gotta chuck this bad boy on. We're just about to hit our first ever full drive track. Oh, I'm just having a look at it. Doesn't look that good. Dry weather access only. That there. That don't look too good on the, the old paintwork. I've just noticed that we've already damaged our van as well. Look at this. Must hit here. See? Wonder if I could adjust that actually. I could probably pull this back a little bit further. Stop it from doing it. Anyway. That's a 
tree. Got one over the top. Are you? Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, we have a caravan on the back. It's quite big. It's just going to scratch the top of the whole van. I could hold that. Hold it here, I'll hold it. Yeah. She's in a foul mood today. I need to get the axe out of the back of the car. Who is taking that down? I actually got my chainsaw. It's all good. Look at that. Easy done. That was really good. Just keep going. More. Yeah, it's a tree. This track's not been driven for literal years. Look at it, it's so overgrown. And he wants to bring our brand new caravan down. I'm just so mad. And this is not what I want to be doing at 4.30 on a Monday afternoon with a tree that's right there that's just gonna stab the side of our caravan. 20 minutes later. Okay, let me update you. He's probably been gone five minutes. And this is meant to be Jacob's biscuit, but I've stress eaten half of it. And the other half is staring at me in the face, but I already know I'm gonna get in trouble for eating half of it. So do I just finish it off? Hey, I've run the whole track. Well, almost the whole thing. It looks okay. There's one bit where it's like you're squeezing past grassy bushes where the caravan will just like scrape on the side of it's just like that big touch of grass. grass. And there's a, like a bog hole at that point. But I don't think it will be a stress. Do you want to drive it on me? Um, you can drive it. I think I might stop. I really need to poo. Is that okay? Good morning, people. We spent, Morning. we spent the night last night on the track because it just became too late to try and... We were getting angry. Yeah, we were getting angry at each other. Yeah, parked in the middle of the track and set up. We but knew there was definitely no one coming because... There's been no, there's no tyre tracks around here. But also the trees are just so overgrown. It is very overgrown. Not many people have been through here, especially with the caravan. I ran along the track to the end last night and there was just this one spot where the trees sort of close in and there's a bit of, there's just a bit of water laying on the track. I wouldn't call it a bog hole. Come down and have a look at it and see what she thinks of it. Oh Jesus, it's narrow, Jacob. Oh my God, that is boggy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about the bog. Sounds like you're worried about something else. No, not at all. It's just that we're just gonna scrape up on these here. And, um, That's so narrow. Here. And you'll drive it? Oh, we'll drive through, yeah, fine. That's fine. I'm not worried about this. We've got a Ford Ranger, babe. Yeah. So I'm not stressed about that. It'll be a bit lopsided. Well, which is what I'm hoping that the caravan will try and sit in there and lay over into the, like, into the grass over here. Sort of what I'm hoping. Why are you hoping that? Well, we'll just keep it off that side. Oh. Just the only thing with this side is I can probably pull that off. Sticks, like it won't, they're not going to break anything at all. They'll just scratch it up. All right, well, let's stop thinking about it. Get going, you reckon? Can barely walk still. You're walking fine, you look great. Yeah. I love what you're wearing today. Thank you. So good. You obviously know our car battery's gone to shit, but that one started first time. So I was just thinking that's going to be a real bitch to have to deal with. This is 
be up there with one of the stupidest things we've done. This is so bloody stupid. Would you look at this? Good luck. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, oh, oh god. Oh my lord. Oh. Fuck. <gasps> Are you bombed? Oh, that is on such a lean. Holy crap. Oh. I cannot believe we just made it through there. I'm not coping with any of that. Looks like Jacob may be taking up part-time arborist as his side gig to YouTube. Yeah, big snake. Do you want the camera? Just where I was pulling that tree down, it was just laying on the ground, like right on, at my feet. How big was it? Let's have a look at it on the drone. I'll show you. We've actually not seen that many snakes recently. Is it still there? I reckon. It must have gone. I can see it. You see it right there? Oh yeah. Yeah, but what am I gonna do? It's massive, look at it. You can only see a little bit. Look there, it goes the whole way through there. Oh. Look at that thing. Can you imagine if you crashed the drone? In? Next to the snake. <gasps> it's gone, it just went. Oh, it just moved? Yeah, it just oh, it's went. Moving. It went yeah. in the bush. Whoa, that was crazy. How close were you? I was standing right there. I was pulling this, this bush, I reckon I was not even a metre away from it. Jacob just completely forgot about the drone. And I just drove over it. Did it land? Uh, we just broke a, a motor. A, you actually drove over Yeah, I, I hit it. We must have hit it on the bull bar. Oh, for God's sake. That was so stupid. The snake scared me. Well, drone is out of action for a second. He needed new blades. He did, didn't he? Is his wing, is his arm still okay? Yeah, that's from when you crashed it at Cape York. It's always been like that, poor guy. He's done nothing wrong. Look what we have up here. Tree across the road. Gosh darn it. It's not really much of an alternate route. Damn. The track looks so nice and wide up there as well. There's all these little like paths and stuff through here, but they're just animal tracks. Look at this. There's not one tire track on the ground here. No one has been through here in so long. I've just realised that we've lost our aerial. Okay. So plan is to... I think what, what I'm going to do is pull it from here a little bit across and then, then probably run a snatch block over to a tree over there once it's round to here and then pull the whole thing that way. I think that's what I'll do. I know you're probably like, well, you 
you know, you should turn back, but they use these roads as like fire access roads and all that kind of stuff. So if you've got the time, you really should clear them if you can. Nicely done, boy. Oh shit, my control is stuck, man. This is what I wanted. The slide. Now, as always, our winch doesn't work in out. I'll just reset it now, so. I'm gonna put a snatch block around a tree or something up there, then pull it off this way. Might have to back the car up actually. We'll figure it out. So this strap that we've got is a winch extension, super, super long. So I'll just double it up, actually like quadruple it up, I guess. And then chuck it around that tree there, run the snatch block, hopefully sit the snatch block like here. And then that will pull it backwards, in theory. It's been a very long time since I used a snatch block. Now a lot of people have those rings and stuff like that, and the soft shackles. I'd love to get some. Expensive though. <sighs> I'm actually out of WD-40. All I've got is foam spray filter oil. It's a, oh, it's got a grease nipple on it. That'll come good, won't it? Bit of oil on it. I've got olive oil in the car. In the caravan. Just stand back a little bit, babe. Be really close. Oh, you were telling me it was no, fine no, there? Yeah. Now, if it went out, that would be good, but it doesn't, as we know. We'll readjust. Is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> I'm ready for lunchtime. I'll tell you what, you must be so tired. So now the idea is to try and pull this bit around instead of this bit around. Just so that then we can get those last couple of branches off. That'd be real nice. Oh, so before everyone comments, sorry, yes, I agree. You shouldn't choke the winch the way that I'm hooking up around a tree, but it's not like it's a real heavy pull. And we don't have a tree trunk protector because, again, they're expensive. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? No, but I think it's not done bad. I think we just need to move that last little bit now that's broken off. That bit there? Yeah. Didn't even need the saw, babe. Didn't even need the saw. Lovely. Uh, you'll make it, you're fine. Ooh. Oh, you know what we've lost? <laughs> the radio antenna. <laughs> we've lost the radio antenna. Yeah, we lost that a while ago. Oh. How's she looking? Pretty good to be fair. Perfect. Tell, tell them what the subscribers that we ran into the other day said. Well, pretty, uh, not, well, actually, pretty much everyone that we run into that watches the channel, whenever they see the car, they're like, is that the same car? 
because no one believes like how good condition it's in. Uh, if you come and see this, I mean, hopefully one day maybe it will make it to a show or something and you can actually come and see it in person. But I take really good pride on how well the car looks. And everyone's like, I thought there'd be no paint left on it or it'd be dented up. There's not one dent on it. And oh my God, you've jinxed yourself. And there's like no scratches. It is, it's immaculate. It's a show car. Hmm. And it's a show car that's driven off road. There, you heard it here first, people. Bumba. Do you reckon you could do me a favor? Yeah. Can you put new wings in the drone, please? Now it's time for me to try and change these wings out. The problem that I'm having yeah. is that you can't really get any le lever. Plus you do. I don't want you to strip them. You're doing a really good job. Do you see what I mean? Have you got them? Yeah. Wow. You've just got a really good grip hand strength. The secret is to push in. Yeah, I was trying. But then it was slippery. Because your hands are sweaty. <laughs> yeah. I have sweaty hands. You do. Good morning. We are at, oh my gosh, the most beautiful place ever. This place is called Ewan Cons and it is a big spring water fed pond. Actually, it's three ponds that flow into each other. And we're going to go swimming in there this morning. Apparently, it's freezing. We've got our wetsuits that we're going to put on, but we've been traveling around Australia in just little spring suits, so it's going to be cold. <laughs> but gosh, I'm excited. This is going to be so good. It might not look like much right now, but I promise you it's about to get real sick. Alrighty, fogged up goggles, let's go. <laughs> I was just panicky because I was just because I was just flowing up the street and I was trying to get you to get out of the way because I was just like I could okay. it's alright I should just sit it.
Ponds. That was you and Ponds, and, and it was amazing. And we we are really hoping that we got some footage because both of our GoPro stuffed up. The first GoPro, like our main GoPro 11, that just froze like halfway through. Yeah. And then the other problem we had with our GoPro 10 was that the SD card wasn't good enough quality. Yeah. And it all like... I don't know if you guys have realised lately, but we've swapped to filming with our iPhones. And we're going to start using microphones and stuff because we just had so many problems with our GoPros and freezing and... This. It's really annoying. So maybe the 12's better, I don't know, but we have problems with both the 10 and the 11. Yeah. So... <sighs> it's just annoying when like that's like the only thing you can only go and just do that once and like we paid 33 dollars to go through and then both our gopros just were pooed so anyway we might try and go back this afternoon yeah like so might try and book in another session or something because we don't know how old footage went we'll go back and we'll have a look